Hey everyone, it is Jesse from the Tasty Team and today I'm going to be testing out five famous celebrity chicken wing recipes to see which one is actually the best. On today's lineup, I have recipes from Gordon Ramsay, John Legend, Emeril Lagasse, Martha Stewart, and football champion Joe Montana. I measured out all the ingredients exactly as the recipes are stated and I got three friends to taste them in a blind case test. So, what's the best chicken wing recipe? Let's find out. First up is Gordon Ramsay. He does this fancy technique called lollipopping, which he takes drumettes and he kind of pushes the meat up towards the top so you get this nice clean bone that you can pick up when you're eating and your fingers don't get all messy. So do that to all of them, set them aside, and in a pan combine honey, olive oil, barista paste, which is a type of hot chili paste, and both lime zest and juice. And cook that up until it's nice and thick. Then with those lollipop drumettes, season them up with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Toss them together and scatter them on a parchment lined sheet tray. Pop those in the oven and while those are cooking, you're going to make your own dipping sauce. Combine yogurt, cilantro, lime zest, garlic, lime juice, and a bit of salt and mix that all together. Set that aside and bring back your cooked wings. Take the prepared sauce and brush them all over the wings, flipping them once so you can brush them on all sides. Pop them back into the oven and this is just so they get nice and sticky and the sauce has time to thicken up. Plate those up and garnish with toasted sesame seeds and sliced scallions and serve them with the prepared dipping sauce. And there you have it, Gordon Ramsay's fancy chicken wings. Ooh. All right. I like the sesame seed detail. That's kind of cool. Into that. The skin is not super oily. There didn't need to be sesame on that. That's just pretentious or something. It's sweet. And then this is like a little bit um, savory. Um, I really like the dip. It's like light and zesty. Like, there's really no taste to the chicken, uh, but the sour cream and onion dip's great. It's really delicious. The, the wing is juicy, which is nice. Um, the sesame seeds, definitely like that. And it's a really pretty presentation. Normally, I have never eaten a wing with the seeds on it before, <laughs> but it's good. I like it. Up next is John Legend. He starts the day before by making a brine with water, seasoned salt, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, and mixing it all together and adding wings to it. He lets this brine for four to 24 hours before he gets started on the wings. While that's happening, in a large bowl, combine melted butter, hot sauce, and honey. Mix that all up until a thick sauce forms. This is what you'll toss the wings in later. The next day, combine flour, cayenne pepper, and seasoned salt. This is what we're gonna toss the wings in. Bring back your brined wings, toss them in the flour, and put them on a sheet tray. Have a Dutch oven filled with canola oil and heat it up until 360 degrees. You're gonna fry the wings in small batches for about 13 minutes until they're golden and cooked through, draining them on a paper towel lined plate each time. In a large bowl, toss the wings with the prepared hot sauce until they're nice and coated. And there you have it, John Legend's crispy fried chicken wings with spicy honey butter. Ooh, all right. It looks crisp. No sauce. I never pick this one. When I get wings, I only want drumsticks. If I made chicken wings, I would want it to look like this. Mm. This is good. I like this one. Um, there's a kick to it, but it's also sweet. It's so good. Oh my god. This one is a little bit on the sweeter side too. You can feel like a little tiny kick, but it's nothing too crazy. I still think I need a sauce. But overall, I really do like this wing. There's definitely honey on it. I think like a regular schmegular hot sauce. It's really like tender, which I like. The crust is a little crunchy. It's like sweet with a kick. I really like it. Up next is Emeril Gossi. He starts by making his own blue cheese dipping sauce by combining blue cheese, sour cream, mayonnaise, buttermilk, fresh lemon juice, minced garlic, salt, and pepper and mixing that all up. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna serve that with the wings later. Next, Emeril makes his own hot sauce by combining hot sauce with apple cider vinegar and sugar. Heat that up and we're slowly gonna add some softened butter using a hand mixer just to make sure it all emulsifies. We do this in a few steps just to make sure we're not overloading with butter. Set this aside. When it comes time to make the actual wings, combine flour, salt, pepper, and cayenne and mix it all together. Bring in some wings, and we're gonna put these in Ziploc baggies with the flour and shake it all up just to make sure they're nice and evenly coated. His recipe says to shake it all up in a bag, but we had to use two just because there's enough wings to fit into. Dump these out onto a sheet tray and let it dry for about an hour. Once those are dried, fry those in a large cast iron pot 
filled with oil at 350 degrees in batches until they're nice and golden. This takes about 10 to 13 minutes per batch. Take those wings and toss them in the hot sauce you prepared earlier, just so they're nice and evenly coated. Serve these with celery, carrots, and the prepared blue cheese dipping sauce and emerald wings are done. Ooh, all right. This looks like a Pizza Hut wing and it's good. And that's a good thing. See, this, this is the kind of wing that I'm used to getting at the restaurants. I always like when the wings come with the, the carrots and celery, even though I don't eat it at all. Oh, blue cheese, my favorite. Pretty standard, pretty regular. It's good. I'm not super crazy about it, but it's good. Yeah, Pizza Hut wing or just like a regular bar. It's like on the average level. There's like nothing special about it, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's like such a classic, um, delicious feeling that you know just by looking at it, like just by the color of the wing, like what ex it's going to taste like exactly, and that is what it tastes like. It's a, it's a buffalo wing. I'm always the person to eat it. It's a palate cleanser. Next up is Martha Stewart. She starts by tossing wings with salt in a large bowl and scattering them onto a baking tray with no oil or parchment paper and baking them until crispy. In a separate bowl, combine maple syrup, grainy Dijon mustard, and stir that all together. Once baked, take those wings and toss them directly in the sauce. Give them a nice coat, and you're gonna pop these back into the oven just so the glaze has time to kind of stick to it and thicken up a bit, about two to three minutes. Serve them with lemon wedges, and that's it, Martha Stewart's super simple wing recipe. This has a cute little glaze to it. It's got little uh, seeds on it and a lemon, and served with a lemon. So we're trying to be fancy. Is it mustard seeds? And this comes with a slice of lemon, and since it's here, I'm just gonna squeeze it on. There's like kind of no taste, but then there's also kind of a taste. It's not quite sweet. It's pretty neutral, but it's good. Like I want to take another bite. It's sweet. It's just sweet. I don't. I don't like that there was a lemon with here because it's like, why would I do that? I feel like this is probably like a healthier version of a chicken wing. I really have no idea what's in this wing. I think that's what got me is because the outside is like a yummy glazed layer and then the inside is like pretty tender. I'm not mad, but I wouldn't order this per se. Last but not least is football legend Joe Montana. In a bowl, he combines salt, pepper, seasoned salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika and stirs that all up to create his own seasoning blend. Set that aside and take a large bowl and add whole wings to it with the tips cut off. Toss those in a bit of oil, then take half the seasoning mixture and toss it right on top. Finish it with the remaining so it's nice and evenly coated and transfer these wings onto a baking tray with a baker's rack. Scatter those around and pop them in the oven. And that's really it. That's Joe Montana's whole chicken wing recipe. This is cute. It's pretty standard. It's got a little oil, you know, it's like the kind where you like, you know you're gonna need a little napkin and maybe a little like a wet wipe. This doesn't look like wings necessarily. I can see this in like a foil tray at like a barbecue. It's very juicy. I like it. It honestly tastes like a rotisserie chicken. Has some good spices. Could have a little bit more. This is good, but it doesn't have a super ton of flavor. I think a dipping sauce would be nice. This like uh, tastes like if you're just like getting a piece of rotisserie chicken with your meal, which I love. I love rotisserie chicken. I love sodium. Maybe this would be in like your meal prep rotation, which is fine. It's good. It's very moist and delicious, but like not as a hot wing. Out of the five, I think four and five are out for me. I like one, two, and three. I, I like the sauces. Because I'm not the hugest fan of buffalo wings, I'm cutting three. But because the first one had the sauce, and I'm someone who's lactose intolerant and can't help myself, I'm gonna go with one, because I love dipping the wings in the sauce. Okay. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Yeah, yeah, chef and all, you know, so it's good, I guess. <laughs> it's delicious, that sauce is delicious. So I think my favorite wing was the first one I got. Um, it had the sesame seeds, it had a really dope sauce, uh, easy to bite into, it was tender, it had a nice little layer, it was sweet, so all the things I'm looking for in a wing. Gordon Ramsay, okay. So I was eating some fancy wings up in here. Um, out of the five wings I ate, I think number two is the best. It wasn't like a crazy taste. There was um, a little bit of a kick to it. It was a little bit sweet. And um, it was fried, which I like. I like fried and baked, but that tasted really good and was moist. <gasps> oh, and he's great. He does no wrong. He's got an EGOT. He has all the awards. The chicken wings on Chrissy Chicken's butt. That's great. Yeah, they're really, that's good. I like them even more that I know he 
got that. So there you have it. Gordon Ramsay has the best chicken wing recipe. Which recipe do you want us to test next? Let us know in the comments. Oh, yes!